one thing before I get off this. The motherfucker who said we're going to keep this thing going until people start losing their houses and their apartments. Listen to me, motherfucker. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial. Some of it is karma. And some of it is just figuring out who the fuck said that. And we know who said that. And where he fucking lives. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. You wish that on people. You wish that families starve while you're making 27 fucking million dollars a year for creating nothing. Be careful, motherfucker. Be really careful. Because that's the kind of shit that stirs shit up. Peace out. Wow, 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 what's up everybody, you're watching Spaceman Reviews with your host, haha, <laughs> I'm the guy that doesn't take shit, woo, well everybody, here we go, Ron Perlman, the fucking shaved Bigfoot crow magnet looking asshole, just made a threat to studio executives, because, well, they're not gonna pay these assholes to not work and go out on strike, yeah. Because you know how these lefties like getting, they want free money, they don't want to work for it, they're lazy, they're still strapped to the umbilical cord to their mamas, and Hollywood is no different. All these Hollywood elitists decided, well, we're going to go strike with the writers, we want more money, we want more money. Problem is, people, in this day and age, everything is going CGI, it's going AI. It's like, so Ron Perlman takes it, he's just going to, what? Well, we're just going to burn your fucking house down. We're going to fucking kill you and your fucking families. Because we got to eat, motherfucker. It's, it's like, see, the left, they can get away with this. Because, you know, they can get away with threatening to kill Clarence Thomas. They get away with threatening to kill uh, President Trump and MAGA supporters during the pandemic. These same fucking clowns threatened uh, to wipe out anti-vaxxers for refusing to take the vaccines. Screw your freedom. Fuck your freedom. You don't need freedom. You need to do what you're told. Do what you're told. Do what you're told. Now, now, they're going to they're gonna get replaced. Ultimately, that's what's going to happen. So that's kind of what this uh, this video is is about. Um, we'll go over here to uh, Breitbart. Ron Perlman threatens Hollywood executive over strike comment. We know who said that and where he fucking lives. So he's threatening studio executives by like, well, we're just gonna we're we're just gonna let you guys just do what you want. You're not gonna get paid. You're not gonna be able to to, to keep your houses. You're not gonna be able to eat. You know. Like, it's like him telling you, like, we, we don't need you. You don't want to work, then you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. Shit, you know how many times in my life that I've been told that? That's why I work. <laughs> but try telling these entitled brats, and they're bitching because all these studio executives make $27 million a fucking year. And what the... F well, it's the same for Hollywood. You, you pay these... These Hollywood spoiled fucking idiots. Hundreds of millions of dollars to read somebody else's script. And to play comic book characters. Now they can't do that. Now that all Hollywood is all up in shandles. This is why I always go back to my earlier videos. When I say about how important it is to keep your physical media. Your DVDs and all that. You, listen, for me, I got my day planned out today. I got to go back to work tomorrow. So today I'm going to kick back. I'm going to break out my Clint Eastwood Sergio Leone collection. Let's see, what will I watch? Fistful of dollars? A few dollars more? Good and the bad and the ugly? Hang them high? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some coin flipping here. I, I don't give a shit. I mean, look what look at all the movies that came out this year. How many were successful? None. None. I mean, you had Top Gun Maverick. You had Top Gun Maverick. 
did really good. You had Sisu, I thought, did excellent. They made this movie on a really small budget, so anything they're going to make, it's just going to be total profit. Hell, the, the, the tank they used in Sisu, the German tank, wasn't even historically a real German tank. It was just a tank that they, that they could borrow, and they slap a German uh, Iron Cross on it, and now we got a German tank. That's smart. But what about the big production movies? Like, say, your Disney movies. All these Disney superhero movies just blew up at the box office. Like, they bomb. They just released Indiana Jones 5. That bombed. All these movies are flopping because nobody wants to watch them. And that and that's a big problem. It's like, uh, they're, they're not going to get what they want. This is, I feel, the beginning of the end for Hollywood. Now, I know you left. He's like, no, that, that's just conspiracy theories. No, these people can survive a long time. No, no. If they can, why are they threatening Hollywood executives over money? Why, are they, why, why is Cro-Magnon Man here uh, threatening to burn down houses and shit? But, hey, FBI, are we, are we going to... Uh, are we go are we gonna arrest this guy? Huh? Are we gonna arrest him? No, because you wouldn't even arrest Alec Baldwin for shooting an innocent woman on a movie set. Nah. Nah, ain't no cocaine in this White House. No, nope, nothing here. We're good. But we're gonna let this slide too. They let the the White House cocaine incident slide. They're gonna let anything slide that's on their side. That's why I don't feel bad for any of these fucking clowns. During the pandemic, you gotta eat your fucking crickets. Just do as you're fucking told. All you fucking MAGA supporters out there think you're above the world. You think you can just eat meat like a regular person? Well, I got news for you. I had to fuck your life up. That's, that's the only shit like Ron Perlman would say. Allegedly. You know, it's like, uh, they, they told us that. Kiss told us we're not allowed to see their fucking concerts. Howard Stern's like, well, I'll be fucking, pre I'm going to run for president. I'll make everybody take the vaccine. All this preaching bullshit on politics, opening their political fucking mouths, has drawn everybody away. They go to, to go to sell a movie, and then you got a Hollywood come out and be like, hey, if you don't want to watch this fucking movie you fucking right wing MAGA supporters to stay the fuck away from our movie we don't want you to watch it and they're they're right there if, if you're a studio exec listening to these fucking actors going off on the fans telling them to stay the fuck away from this movie guess who's losing money guess who's losing money now these motherfuckers dug themselves into a hole it's what we uh, it's what we call in a civilized world as a uh, Screwing the pooch, if you will. These companies front hundreds of millions of dollars, hire these people, give these people jobs, and then these people go out and market this movie racially, bigotry, uh, gender ideology bullshit, all this crap, and then it just says to, to the people that, hey, I'm, I'm not going to go watch the movies. And then... One by one, two by two, three by three, these movies bomb at the box office. It's at the point Hollywood can't make movies anymore. Not with these fucking clowns. At least with AI, at least with CGI, you got more control over what is said. And your actors and actors aren't, aren't even real. So there's no, there's no like Ron Perlman going to run out and be like, all you fucking Trump supporters can go fuck off. Stay the fuck away from my movies. I don't want you to watch my... There goes all that money down the drain. You don't, they, they don't have to do that no more. It's like, well, this guy's character CGI. We just flip it off. They can't... I mean, look, look, at, uh, look at Disney. I mean, have you been keeping track of Disney lately? They haven't been doing too good. Over here... Over here by Variety, Disney completes 7,000 job cuts. This is right after they just laid off several thousand more people. And they're going to cut more, thousands more fucking jobs. 
Because, because after getting hit with all these flops, they're in a fucking corner, man. They're busted. People are not going to their theme parks. So they figured out a system where they could just make a shit movie and say, hey, we got a trans librarian in this book movie. We got tra-. And then they get money from the federal government. They'll just start making... This is why they also they cut Star Wars. They cut all the Star Wars stuff so the Acolyte's not going to happen. They cut, they cut the Marvel movies. That ain't going to happen. They're going to cut back on everything. They got to rethink everything. No, they just destroyed. Lucasfilm just destroyed uh, another Lucasfilm's uh, franchise, Indiana Jones. They shot and killed it. The merchandise isn't selling. The movies aren't selling. The DVDs <laughs> are not selling. Uh, none of this stuff is selling. Disney has a big problem on their hand. They can't get past their own politics. Now you had a movie just come out, very successful, still killing it at the box office. The Sound of Freedom, which deals with uh, sensitive subjects is like child trafficking, stuff like that. Because that stuff definitely does not happen in Hollywood, right? I mean, like, like Oprah Winfrey totally does not have... <laughs> Underground tunneling systems <laughs> for children. Oh, no. Totally not. If you say she does, you're going to get sued. Totally not. She's a total princess. Even though every fucking picture ever she's with Harvey Weinstein. Everybody, you know, the guy who everybody knows is a rapist. And maybe trafficker, maybe. Allegedly. Who knows? Who knows, right? We're not accusing nobody here. We're not accusing nobody. We're just... You know, it, it's a possibility, right? Right? So they don't, it's in their best interest to get people to not want to see The Sound of Freedom. Which I always suggest, that's why you need to see The Sound of Freedom. They're not having the problems. Well now, Oppenheimer, about the first atom bomb, is set to come out, I think, uh, what, July 21st? July 29th or 21st, something like that. But even then, they they, uh, they tried to do like the, the red carpet stuff, and none of these actors are showing up. So, uh, let's see here. Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon, Emily Blunt walk out of movie event to support Actors Union. Go ahead. Your jobs are done. Go ahead. It's going to be a long time before we ever get an Iron Man movie. And that next Iron Man movie, Robert, may just be done in AI. May be done in CGI. Ain't no one going to come like, hey, Robert, we need you, man. We need you back into the ring, man. We need we need to get back to the old days. Get back to the gym. Uh, so I got some blood and sweat and tears. Can we do that? Can we do that? No, we can't do that. No, because we got AI that writes all the movies now. We got AI to replace all the characters. You remember Rogue One? They brought back an actor who'd been dead for like 30 fucking years. And he looked healthy as hell in Rogue One. Remember Grandma Tarkin, Peter Cushing? Yeah, he was in Rogue One. Guy been dead for 30 fucking years. Yeah, he looked pretty damn good in Rogue One. Got the voice and everything. They don't need physical actors and actresses anymore. If you remember a movie came out years ago, The Polar Express, Robert Zemeckis did. All CGI. Yeah, you can tell it's Tom Hanks' voice. I mean, you got the voices. But all the acting, all this stuff was done by AI. It was done by CGI. The people don't understand that they're they're being replaced. Eventually, it's going to happen. You know, when I was a kid and I saw Tron for the first time, I was blown away with the computer graphics. My dad said, you know, down down the road, that all these movies are going to be made with see, with the uh, with this technology. They're not going to need actors. That's what my dad said. What was that back like? Nineteen eighty two when Tron came out, and look where we're at. Look where we're at. Look how many movies were made with CGI. 
They don't need the writers. They don't need the actors and actresses. They don't need this shit anymore. It's too problematic. At a point, Hollywood can't keep people's mouths shut. They can't control them. You got Chris Evans running around, uh, screaming at people. You got all these assholes at the at the award shows, calling out the uh, uh, MAGA supporters, shitting all over America, Americans, and look at look at the ratings for the award shows. They are setting up their own destruction. It was going to happen eventually. I mean, what? The writers were on strike for, what, months? Months? Months and months? Since, what, like February? No, and, and here we are, here we are in the middle of July, and we're still here. Now the actors join in, and they're pissed off because they're not getting paid to, to do nothing. Oh, that's a bitch. Maybe you could cut some grass, huh? Maybe you help that old lady across the street. Maybe you could do something. Maybe go work at uh, McDonald's. I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah. So, they so they had this red carpet event for Oppenheimer. Where the actors and actresses get to walk out, strut their stuff. And they walked away from it. They walked off the job. Well, we're going to support our fellow actors and actresses. Look, go ahead, because now you don't have a job either. And this fucks up the Oppenheimer movie. You remember Robert Downey Jr., right? Iron Man, oh, he's great, Iron Man, right? Then this guy telling you that you should be eating crickets, and he was sitting there eating crickets and shit, won't shut his political fucking mouth. And then they find out this this guy was on, uh, allegedly, on the plane... On the flight log for Epstein Island. And we all know what went on Epstein Island, right? Just watch Sound of Freedom. They didn't go they didn't fly out there to Epstein Island to eat popcorn and watch the fucking Super Bowl. No, no. We we know what went on out there. Well, we're gonna talk about effect in the movies. Well, they got upcoming movies. This is good this is going to destroy, delay, and postpone movies. Well here we got here we got the uh, here we got uh, Deadpool 3. Honestly, to me, I see this. It's like, no. No. This looks like shit. What, now you got Hugh Jackman uh, in his old Wolverine, yellow, yellow Wolverine comic book suit. And I'm supposed to, as a fan of comic books, old comic books, nothing new. I'm supposed to be like, oh, wow, I, got, I can't wait to see that. No, I don't care. And you got two Hollywood elitists right here trying to yank your fucking chain. Here you got Ryan Reynolds in his fucking S&M fucking spandex baby boy suit. I was really never impressed with the Deadpool movies. I mean, that, some of them were kind of funny. Some of them just kind of just looked like an elite sexual fantasy, if you will. But, uh, yeah, this to come out? When all these superhero movies are flopping, I mean, look what happened with The Flash. That got roasted open over an open fire, over an open campfire. I'm not going to roast marshmallows today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to roast blockbusters. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to roast this fucking uh, Flash movie right here. Yeah, who cares if we burn it, right? It already got burnt. It already got burnt. Oh, oh, you got, uh, got Shang-Chi, huh? Simon Liu ain't gonna be too happy, but let's fucking roast that. Fuck these movies. Fuck them all. I don't give a fuck about... I don't care if they ever make another Star Wars movie again. Frankly, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back and watch any of the Indiana Jones movies anymore. What's the point? See, I loved, I loved those first three movies. But then when I really think about it, I just not, have no desire to watch, let's see, Raiders of the Lost Star. And you ask me, well, why is that? Why, why? I mean, you didn't really go see it, so it's not ruined for you. But it is. Because here's the thing. When I see young Indiana Jones going after the Ark, I'm thinking, yeah, but it doesn't matter anymore. Because what has he become down the road? See, when there was no continuation, your imagination could just run wild that he did all these great things. But you can't do that no more because now 
He's an old geezer who's miserable, who gets beat up and replaced by a British bitch. So, guess what? Nah. Me, maybe I'm not so much of a hurry to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. Maybe I watch Star Wars. Yeah, but then you see your little farm boy Luke. You still can't get that picture out of your head of old Luke, same Luke, uh, milking sea dinosaurs' titties for green sludge. Yeah. And if you think this is bad, if you think that this is bad, this is really gonna this is really gonna rock your tits right here. Oh, Disney's live action Snow White under fire for replacing seven dwarfs with magical creatures of all sizes and genders. Yeah, we got how many genders do we got? Seven different genders, right? What are they? What are the names of these genders? Oh, we don't know. We're just we're waiting to make shit up. But yeah, look at that. Look at this. Oh my god. What what the fuck am I looking at? What is this? What is this? You got one actual dwarf. All these are fucking Jed Zers going for a fucking field trip with Little Red Riding Hood right here in the fucking wheat field. Get off my property. I don't want you on my property. You're not allowed to play Snow White on my fucking property. Uh, is this a black woman? Look. Look. Cleopatra was not black. Neither is Red Riding Hood or Snow White or whoever the fuck this lady in the fucking tramps right here. I, I don't know. I don't know. They just, they've lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers. They lost millions of subscribers. What am I saying? We're in the millions now. All these streaming channels losing millions of subscribers because people are sick and tired of all the woke nonsense. They're, they're sick and tired of all this ideology, gender bullshit. They're tired of it. What? Where's the dwarfs? These are all fucking. Uh, this is like Antifa here taking a walk through someone's backyard, and he got this little clown walking around in a red fucking shroud. Unbelievable. This this ain't Snow White. I, I don't know what this is. Yeah, totally not gonna bomb at the box office, right? But Disney will still get federal money for producing this garbage. This is why they do it. You got to get them ESG scores. All sizes. Boom. And genders. Boom. Oh, they got it. They got it. Oh, the white people. Oh, look, we got a skinny white dude. We got a feminine looking white dude. We got a fat out of shape weird looking white dude. We got a cross dressing fucking wearing mommy's fucking sweatshirt. Uh, white dude over here with a beard. Oh. Oh. And if you look, if you look at movie theaters, you don't, you don't see too many people going there anymore. If you look up on the signs that tell, show you the movies playing there, that list keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. People, we are, uh, we are watching the end. Of entertainment of old entertainment as we know it the bright lights the red carpets the awards all that stuff is soon gonna be a thing of the past is it tragic nah nah movies used to be stuff that used to inspire us to inspire the imagination to want to to want to drive us to be something better but when all these characters are just even worse than the bad guys in the movies, and then the people that play them run out, shoot their mouth off, uh, it's just, it, it's, it's all, entertainment's already dead. Pop culture is already wounded. A horse with a broken leg, they're going to put it down. And these people out there uh, uh, picketing on strike, they ain't going to have any jobs. Highly unlikely they're going to be called to do a movie anytime soon because they have burnt their their bridge. You know, it's like either you're going to be an entertainer, you know, read your lines and shut the fuck up, or you're going to go into politics and become a politician. You can't do both. 
And I've been saying this for a long time. Listen, if you're be an actor, then there are things that you have to abide by. You have to maintain an image for the people on the job and especially off the job. But when they're off the job, then they're running around like fuck Trump and fuck America and fuck everybody American, every hardworking American, struggling American, telling Americans to eat crickets and drink their own urine, shit like that. Well, then no one wants to see you in the movies anymore. So every movie that this that these companies are going to sink hundreds of millions of dollars into, they're not going to do that no more. I mean, maybe you not get as many jobs anymore. Now it looks like they done really critically shot themselves in the foot. And this guy here, this one out made threats. Now he's trying to walk it back. No, no, like the like in all in all actuality the. Uh, the FBI, like, they should arrest this guy. Like, hey, what, what did you mean by that? You just went on on media and just made death threats. No, nothing will happen to this guy. Nothing will happen to him. Because he's one of them. Anyway, people, that's the video. If you want to be kept updated on what's going on with this stupid SAG uh, strike, then smash that subscribe button. Be safe, stay safe, stay alert, stay aware, stay alive, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.